Nicole, we've been seeing quite an evolution in percussion features lately. We've been seeing the 70s pushing forward in an arc, down the 50, moving into some more movement ideas, adding electronics, adding some more simultaneous responsibilities, listening demands. Uh, no more sticks in anymore, it's all sticks down. What are we doing to ourselves? Where is this going? <laughs> That seems to be the golden question, right? Uh, it's a hard one. I think just like any art form, drum corps has propelled forward with advancements in technology, more athleticism, as our attention spans get smaller, shows get more entertaining, I guess it seems to us. But more importantly, us as battery members get to be featured a little bit more. I mean, you can go back to Cadets of 89 that kind of ushered in this era for cores in the 90s who really started to feature the battery as more than just an accompaniment for the horns. But as you move forward decades and decades into the 2000s, we see more movement, like you said, more athleticism, simultaneous responsibility. These drum lines are now moving above that hash. Um, you move to 2010s and, in, and you see props having a factor in where the drum lines are placed mm -hmm. on the field. I mean, just in, in 2015 and 2016 alone, both championship shows started with a snare feature. I can only imagine that this trend is gonna continue. Um, as we move forward, you know, drum lines are gonna be playing more, battery sections are gonna be recognized more, and as a snare player, I'm here for it.